is it worth spending all that money for a progesterone machine? Um, some of them could go for thousands of dollars. As a breeder, you would want to have a progesterone machine or access to one if you're trying to time breedings or, um, you know, time when puppies are going to be born and things like that. So they can go for thousands of dollars. Is it worth the expense? Is it worth the investment? Or are there better alternatives? Stay tuned to find out. So what's going on, Bully Fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls, bringing you another episode of Breeders Hacks. So um, today, like I said, I wanted to talk about progesterone machines and progesterone machine testing. Is it worth the expense? Is it worth the investment? Are there better alternatives? You know, um, I've been doing progesterone testing for a long time. For those that don't know what progesterone machines are, the testing, things like that, a progesterone machine is essentially a machine that will let you run a test with blood, right? You take the female's blood, um, and, and essentially what it allows you to do is time when the female is going to be most fertile to breed. So your breedings take and you get large litters as well as it'll also allows you to do what's called a reverse progesterone, which helps you time exactly to the day when puppies are going to be born. So for a breeder, I mean, it's super crucial to get this done. And honestly, um, if you're, if you're breeding, you should be getting progesterone tests done. No questions about it. Um, but the real question that we want to talk about today is is it worth investing in a machine purchasing it for yourself is it worth going to the vet so on and so forth i wanted to cover this because if i would have known the things that i'm going to show you guys right now when i started my decision as to purchasing a progesterone machine or not purchasing a progesterone machine or going to my vet versus not going to my vet my answer would have changed very quickly and i would have made a decision a lot faster so i'm going to show you guys and maybe this may be helpful so got the dry erase board right I'm not, I'm not crazy about this little tiny one, but until I can get like a YouTube sugar daddy or something, this is gonna have to work for now. Sugar daddy. So progesterone testing is like I said, you're gonna do it when you wanna time, when you wanna do your breeding. It's super important because if you miss the breeding, then I mean, what was it all for? Um, and the same thing really goes for timing when puppies are born. That's, that's super crucial and super important because I've seen puppies born prematurely, they die. I've seen puppies born too late, they get stuck, they die. Unfortunately, the harsh reality. So if you're going to, you know, do breeding, especially with the bully breeds, snub nosed breeds, things like that, you're gonna wanna do progesterone testing. There's no way around it. And I have so many videos talking about progesterone testing more in detail. But is the machine worth it? Is it w worth investing in a machine or is it worth going to your vet? So I wanted to cover that today because like I said, I wish I would have known this sooner. I would have made my decision a long time ago. So anyway, um, with that being said, let's get started. So when you're going to do a progesterone test, right? Say you're gonna go to the vet um, and get a test done, or maybe you may go to a local breeder that has their own machine or whatever the case may be. The average cost, and it could be a little bit less, it could be a little bit more, but this is around the average. The average cost, is about, and I hope you can see this, otherwise I'll blow this up for you guys, $65 to $85. That's around the average cost. I mean, in New York here where we're at, I've seen it as high as like $150. So this is just to be conservative. So $65 to $85, and we're gonna do the numbers for both. So when you're getting a progesterone done, you're generally gonna test Sometimes you get lucky on the first test, you're ready to do a breeding, but that's not always the case. I would say on average, you're gonna do at least a minimum of three to four tests, um, but we'll say three yet again, just to be conservative. So $65 to $85. So 65 times three tests, cause we're gonna test her three times um, in order to find out when she's most fertile to do her breeding. This is a cost that there's really no way around it unless you don't do progesterone testing and you're probably not going to have a lot of success with your breedings. So times three gives us 195 to 255. So off of three tests for one single dog, it came out to 195 to 255. Um, that was our cost for three tests. But now the female's pregnant. We did the right thing. We did progesterone testing. Now it's time to check and see, um, 
you know, when she's ready to have her puppies. So if you do the math, that's another, and it's going to be about the same thing about on average, three tests, you may get lucky. You may not. I had females that I've had to do 10 to 15 to 20 tests on because they had split heats. And that's a whole other thing I'll get into later, but, um, 195 and then another 255. So now we multiply these times two, and that gives us 390. And I'm sorry if my math is wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's correct. So 390 to 510, that is going to be our total per dog average. Um, so on average, progesterone testing, you can expect to spend $390 to $510. Um, it's, we're starting to rack up some, some coin right now. So here's the thing, right? The average machine, a good machine, and I'm not, I really want to give you guys the numbers. I'm not trying to promote our machine, but the machine that we have is like, it's like $3,000. I'm just using it as for reference. A halfway decent machine, a good machine, a reliable machine is going to be around like that $3,000 mark, right? So if one dog costs us anywhere between $390 to $510, that means that about seven breedings, seven to six breedings is what's going to is what's going to make that $3,000. So here's what I tell people, right? And I like, yet again, I wish I would have known this sooner. Seven to six breedings. If you plan on doing more than seven to six breedings, this machine pays for itself. Because if you were to do six breedings, you were to do seven breedings, you're well at 3,000, if not a little bit more. This is just, you know, roughly rounding it up. So with that being said, if I would have known this sooner, and all every breeder tells me that like gets a machine from us. This was one of the best investments I could have made. And I wish someone would have told me that because the amount of money that I spent on progesterone testing was ridiculous. It was just ridiculous. And it's so easy to learn. I have videos on how to draw the blood and do all that stuff for free at no cost to you. You don't have to get a machine for me. Go get one from someone else. But the education is there. There's so many people on YouTube that are showing how to do this. Um, I'm not the only one. But I wanted to do a breakdown because, like I said, seven to six breedings. So let's say you have five females. Way well, way well worth it. Even if you have one or two females, if you plan on doing more than six or seven breedings, it's worth it, in my opinion, by far. Because the machine paid for itself. And then this isn't even including if you're going to do it as a service for other people. So let's just say, hypothetically, you did only four breedings. Four breedings for yourself but you did an additional four breedings for other clients, for, for other local breeders, that machine paid for itself. And that's essentially what we did. Um, we had bought the machine and we saved so much money because for example, the vet was charging us an exam fee, which was like $65 just to look at the dog um, before the progesterone test. So it was $65 plus another like 65 to 85 dollars for, for the progesterone test so you tell me if it's worth it so six to seven breedings you make your initial investment back in my opinion and then yet again if you do it as a service for even for a few you make your investment back way 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 sooner so it was one of the things that we did we invested in the machine and it was the best thing we could have ever done um i really feel for my breeders that have to go to vets and get their progesterone test done um I, it's really, I mean, and here's the other thing too, is, is vets, I'm going to be honest with you. They don't really want you having your own progesterone machine because they lose money. You know, they're in the business to, to make money and they lose money because of that. So I've had vets who really kind of discourage people from getting their own machines, but Hey, us as breeders, we have so much ex expenses as it is. And vets already make so much money off of us as it is. This is a great way to save yourself some money. And um, after this initial seven to six breedings, you're saving money. I, on my machine alone, I ha I've had to have saved tens of thousands by now, if not more, easily tens of thousands by now, because I do so many progesterone tests for local people around me, things like that. So I just wanted to share this with you guys and really sit down and write the numbers because you can get one female and I had this happen. You get one female, talk about, we'll talk about the split heat. I had a female who had a split heat, meaning she came into heat, her numbers started to go up and then they peaked out and stopped and then they dropped down 
and then she stayed there for like a month and then her numbers came right back up it was the, it was a split heat so with that being said i was testing her for like a month i looked at the bill it came out to like fifteen hundred dollars for just this one dog no <laughs> because her heat was so troubled. $1,500 is half of the machine. That, that dog's heat alone was half of the machine. Instead of paying the vet, I could have paid for half of the machine. And then yet again, like on our website or other websites, there's also financing too. So it's like, I should have bought the machine a long time ago. And I was so hesitant because of the fact of the large first initial price. But looking back and all the breeders that have bought machines for me, it was the best investment I could have made into my program. One of the biggest ways to save money. So if you plan on doing this and, and doing multiple breedings, it's definitely, definitely, definitely worth it in my opinion. And I would have gotten one way sooner. So anyway, guys, um, if you guys, do decide to get a progesterone machine or if you don't you know i just want to share this with you guys but if you do you have any questions and i tell people even if you don't get the machine from me go ahead and contact me and i'll help you to my best knowledge so anyway guys hope this information was helpful i hope it was useful and i'll see you guys on the next episode of breeders hacks